It's the 64 Showcase! Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, getting back to the Mario Party 3 CPU Tournament! Preliminary Rounds, the Preliminary Duel Maps. Continuing on with our theme, our rivals, round three will consist of Princess Peach and her partner Toad. His ability to prevent coin theft is more helpful than you might think. And her rival is her fellow princess, Princess Daisy, and her partner Sniffit. He has well-balanced abilities and can even collect coins sometimes. Computer players, to hard, please. We don't need no handicaps. And our board this time around is going to be Pipe Squeak, a map with pipes for warping. Number of turns is of course 20. Hopefully it won't take all 20 turns to get through the game like it has the last few rounds. Oh, mini games, are these settings okay? They sure does darn are. Off we go to round three. Welcome everybody to Pipe Squeak. Of course, first, starting off, before we can actually get to any uh, proper play, we need to set up play, decide who goes first, yada yada, so on and so forth. We've seen this enough times that we know approximately what's gonna happen. But the Millennium Star can fake you out like that sometimes. Well, he'll stop on one space, on one place, but then suddenly flip around to the other. So, this time, Princess Peach is going first in the blue corner. And Daisy is second in the red corner. Daisy and her very weird voice in this game. I never liked it. Partners, come here! We are going to be sticking Toad in front for Princess Peach. That's generally where he's safest to hang around. And we get that there 10 coin bonus and let the games begin. Since Peach is going first, we don't need to wait around for Daisy to take her turn. To uh, explain the board here, on Pipe Squeak, the board goes around in one set path in a circle. There are no junctions or shortcuts to take here, but there are several pipes. We've got a pink pipe. We got a yellow pipe. We got an orange pipe. And we got our blue pipe. When you jump in a pipe, it takes you to another pipe on the board. I forget if there's a set location to them. I'm pretty sure it's random. So, you can use the pipes uh, strategically to either make quick getaways or quickly catch up to your opponent to deal some damage. It's really a bit of a luck of the draw where you end up. You can also use the pipes to make quick laps around the board, too, if you really need to get back to start to get a new partner or get some coins. But either way, we'll see how that goes for our competitors here. We'll set Princess Peach to a hard computer player and get started proper. Preliminary round three of the first match, here we go. Peach rolls a two, immediately getting a reverse space and backing up. Four spaces, hit in the happening space. Plus 20 coins, not bad for literally the first roll of the game. Daisy, getting a four. Choosing to jump into the pipe, possibly wanting to catch Princess Peach off guard. Yes, she does. Oh dang, we've got a battle already. Literally second roll of the game, sniff it to attack strength directly to Princess Peach. But this puts put Daisy right in line for a counterattack right away from Toad. But it also might put Princess Peach in further danger. We'll see how things play out here. Toad attacking Daisy. One damage. 
Toad, unfortunately, does not have much in the way of attack strength, but he does well for being such a simple partner. Princess Peach, wisely choosing a partner for defense, getting a double Toad. Two whole Toads for the price of one. The glorious Toad combination increases their attack strength by one. And Princess Peach wisely making a getaway so Daisy doesn't counterattack her again. Putting her all the way on this corner of the board. Just from the general random nature of this board, it does prove to be a quite an uh, intense match. So, hopefully we can see a little more excitement going on than uh, Luigi and Waluigi's round last time. <laughs> Daisy choosing not to take a shortcut, and instead taking the long way around. Rolling a three. Jumping in the pipe instead of deciding to go back to start. And putting her probably as far away as she possibly can. She does get three coins from her space, but she'll only be able to keep her partner if she uh, gets lucky with Sniffit giving her some money. Princess Peach also uh, getting a blank space. Uh, Sniffit was not feeling generous. Daisy can't pay her partner's salary, and... And that's about it. Daisy taking a chance, getting in a pipe. It might lead her right back to where she needs to be. Yes, it does. But seeing that she is right in front of a pipe entrance, it might also put her in danger here. Let's see, what's Peach gonna do? No, Peach is going back to start. Because honestly, that could have also backfired on her. Replacing her defensive toad, probably the wise decision. And getting a bob -omb instead, which honestly isn't much more helpful. And also getting her reverse space to backing up a little. Much like in Arrowhead, when you're going in reverse, you can't really choose what junction to go down, so Princess Peach can't back up into a pipe. Daisy getting a happening space, returning to start when she was already two spaces in front of her starting position. <laughs> so, you know, I guess small favors. She does need coins and need a partner. Getting herself a toad of her own. Which, Daisy isn't typically associated with Toad, unless we're talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate here. But, that game was released several years after this one, so it didn't really apply. Princess Peach, immediately going right back to start. If I were her, I'd probably replace that bob -omb. Nope, she's getting rid of Toad. Well, I guess I'm not her then. She is the current superstar of the Mario Party CPU tournament, getting herself a lucky roulette. She wants to sniff it. Princesses are trading partners here, giving each a partner a try. They are rivals, but they are also uh, companions and friends, I'd say. So uh, maybe this is more of a friendly rivalry than say the rivalry of Wario and Mario. And she does make it right to Daisy's starting position, her home turf, attacking Daisy's toad and dealing a little bit of damage to her. We suddenly have a tied game here. Daisy not in a great position. She doesn't have a partner to attack with. She needs to try and make a quick escape. And it does line her back up with her starting position, putting her pretty much exactly where she was just a few seconds ago. Getting a boo! Choosing to put boo in front, he does have those two attack points. Does not quite get enough to make a strike on Princess Peach, though. If it giving Peach some coins, the coins he didn't give Daisy a little earlier. 
But all in all, that is a pretty high salary that Peach has to pay every turn. And Peach getting a happening space. Minus 10 coins, ooh. That's no good. Daisy has an opportunity here. If she hops in a pipe, she might be able to make a quick strike on Princess Peach. Let's see if luck is on her side. It is. How about that? Boo is going to be battling bob and dealing damage to Princess Peach. And they're going to be landing on the same space as well, which means Daisy might have another opportunity to attack in her future. Happening space going off. Plus 20 coins. Suddenly things are going very much in Daisy's favor. Princess Peach, in order to survive another strike, might need a pretty good defensive partner here. She probably, probably, wouldn't want something like Toad or bob in back again. Wisely choosing to put a partner behind her. And she ends up getting the double sniff it. Which does mean 10 coins a turn, but it does give them some extra attack strength. Uh, much like the Piranha Plant potentially doubling up with its effects, I'm not sure if Sniff It can. I guess we'll see. Princess Peach hopping in a pipe. Making the loop around, going right for Daisy. Daisy has nothing to protect herself. Oh my goodness, we're seeing our very first quick knockout. Oh my gosh, that is it. That is game over for this round. Princess Peach with a very quick victory. That is how you do a duel game, gentlemen. The ladies are showing the boys how it's done. Oh my gosh. That's all she wrote. Princess Peach with two points to her name. Two point heart points left. Claims herself a victory right away. But of course, she's got to win another one to move to to uh, decide her position in the main tournament. Let's see if she gets lucky a second time, shall we? All right, here we are again. Round two of the third preliminary round. Princess Peach is going first once again. We're gonna switch her over to the hard computer player and get things going right. Starting off, rolling a two, hitting that reverse space. I'm almost positive that's how the last game started. <laughs> Getting a blank space as a result. Daisy's turn. Rolling a 10, oh my gosh. Choosing not to go after Princess Peach though and instead of hopping in a pipe, Putting herself right in danger's way. Was it the wisest decision? Probably not. But she does manage to put some good distance between her and her rival. Peach, rolling a three, getting another blank space. Daisy. Not doing too great with that high salary of Sniff It, unfortunately. Getting that one coin down, rolling uh whatever that was. <laughs> it wasn't really looking. Okay, Princess Peach getting another partner. A chain Chomp! Alright, Toad and Chain Chomp, quite the duo there. That high salary is going to eat through Princess Peach's coins pretty quickly, but with the right circumstances, she might be able to deal some serious damage to Daisy. But not without going through a Game Guy game first. It's quite possible that Princess Peach might lose all of her coins right here and now. And, you know, there are more Game Guy games than just Magic Boxes. I'm pretty sure there are. I think we've only seen the three. 
and there are six of them, I think? But, uh, yeah, Magic Boxes just keeps wanting to get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, someone actually won for once. Guessed correctly. Choosing not to continue and try to double her money more, though. The wise decision. Since no one seems to have the best of luck with that game. Does net her some 36 coins. Perfect for feeding her Chain Chomp with. Daisy! Not doing quite as hot. Rolling a three. Heading down. Getting a reverse. Heading backwards. That's probably not the position you want to be in, Daisy. Princess Peach rolling a one, though, not being able to capitalize on how close Daisy is. And she couldn't pay her partner's salary, so off go Sniff It. And getting that reverse space again, going backwards five spaces. Power up space does nothing. This puts Daisy right in line for an attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Toad, launching an attack, dealing only one damage, but one damage is enough to put Princess Peach in the lead. Going in a pipe. This loops around the way she wants to. Yes, it does. I don't know if she'll be able to land a second attack. Uh, never mind. Yes, she does. Oh my gosh. Princess Peach, the current superstar from last year's tournament, showing just what it means to be a superstar. She is absolutely going bonkers, just wailing on Daisy. Daisy thankfully rolling a nine, getting away from her as fast as she can, considering Princess Peach also just hit that power up space and has an extra powerful toad on her side. Those two are going to eat through her coins, however, and she won't be able to hang on to them much longer. Putting a Mr. Blizzard behind her, definitely a wise decision with those three hit points. That's where I usually put him, too. Choosing to jump in the pipe to try and gain some distance. That could have easily backfired, though. And given Princess Peach some coinage. Those 14 coins, though. Ouch. Toad prevents her from losing money. Let's see, rolling a three. Getting that reverse. Daisy can't seem to make much progress. Keeps going backwards. Keeps Princess Peach's partners in the game for one more turn. Just jumping in a pipe. She has a two out of three chance of being right behind Daisy. Oh dear, oh no. Poor Daisy, can't catch a break. Mr. Blizzard at least, thankfully, defends her from this onslaught of attacks. And Princess Peach reaching a back to start. Getting 10 coins and powering down her partners. Choosing to replace Toad and hanging on to the more expensive Chain Jump. And, well, that's not going to do you any favors, Peach. <laughs> Unless you get a reverse up here. How many spaces do you have? Oh, you. Not quite. Not quite a reverse. That was almost an amazing play by Princess Peach, though. And she does loop right around so she can get her partner situation going again. Happening, return to start. That's two partners and 20 coins in one turn. Wow, okay. Yeah, getting rid of that. It's the lucky roulette and Princess Peach can pick whatever partner she wants. Is she gonna go for double chain chomp? Yes, she is. She's not gonna be able to hang on to double chain chomp too long. But depending on Daisy's roll right here, that double attack power might mean the destruction of Daisy. Oh, not quite. See, I'm not sure how that scenario would work out if she uh, 
would take the damage, extra damage from both Mr. Blizzard getting hit and also taking two damage. That could have been a knockout. I'm not sure how that would work, though. Peach! A massive 12 coins out of her pocket. Choosing not to go after Daisy, but go back down the pipe. Looping around again. Princess Peach, jeez. I guess her double chain chomp power isn't going to last very long. Replacing the one in back. Getting Baby Bowser instead. Which probably isn't the best option, but it's definitely an option. Daisy frantically making her way back to her starting position. This happening space might help her out though. Restore heart pieces, oh yeah. All the damage Daisy took is now negated. Which means Peach is gonna have to work extra hard to try and regain her lead. Seeing if this pipe is gonna help her out, maybe put her right in line to attack Daisy. Not quite. Puts her past her. Instead, she's gonna move eight spaces forward. Does get the option to take another pipe, but decides not to, getting five coins, and next turn she's going back to start again. <laughs> Peach seems to have some sort of mastery over this board. And Daisy getting a pretty perfect defensive option here. And choosing to put it in front for some reason. Never mind. Maybe Daisy isn't unlucky, maybe she's just dumb. But, you know, that's how it works sometimes, I guess. Losing five coins, giving them to Peach. And Princess losing nine coins. Getting ten coins, getting another partner. Choosing to replace the expensive chain jump. And getting a Koopa instead. Definitely a little more on the affordable side. She'll be able to hang on to this uh, Koopa duo of sorts pretty easily. Hopping down the pipe. Putting herself right here. Getting a reverse space. Knocking down that countdown quite a bit. Almost caught up to Daisy there. Down the pipe she goes right back to her starting position. And what's she gonna do with this? Let's see, let's see. It's the lucky roulette, she's putting a partner behind her. Is she going for the ultimate defensive strat? It seems so. It's gonna take a little while for Princess Peach to eat through that defensive wall surrounding her. And with their salary knocked down, Daisy can hang on to these two for a while. Backing up with a reverse space, though, going back another few spaces, but it's not going to matter too much because Princess Peach is about to hit that countdown. Last ten turns, here we go. Only rolling a one, but triggering a mini game for 30 coins. Teleporting Daisy right in place. Doing the Bowser Toss. Let's see... Which princess of power here gets to toss Bowser the farthest. Each at a pretty high angle, you generally don't want that. Oh, never mind, apparently you really do want that. <laughs> Not quite breaking the record, but pretty, coming pretty darn close. I think that's our best toss so far. And Princess Peach lands herself a nice 30 coins. 
And I think the way things are about to play out, Princess Peach might just hit a reverse space up here and walk backwards into Daisy. Yep. Which means Baby Bowser is on the attack. But his attack fails. Knocking down a couple more points. Hitting another reverse space, walking even further backwards. Almost landed on a third reverse space. Switch partner positions. Now this is very fortuitous for Princess Peach. Because Baby Bowser is much more suited for the attacking position than Koopa is. Daisy not making much progress here. Her defensive wall isn't doing her many favors. Losing coins to Peach, who has 52 coins. Gosh dang. Choosing to go forward after Daisy, but landing on that reverse space again. <laughs> Going backwards. Seven. Knocking down that countdown. Oh, that reverse space is causing some havoc. And hitting another happening space, literally returning to where she was at the beginning of the turn. And all she is is 20 coins richer for her effort. Not much else happened. Daisy rolling low. Peach's turn yet again. We're not seeing mini games quite as frequently in these rounds either. Poor Daisy can't afford her partners and has to go partnerless. Taking a pipe, taking a chance. Oh no, that's not good. She still has a good amount of distance to go, but she's trying again. Okay, that's a little more like it. Getting herself eight coins, but if Princess Peach crosses over in front of what's-his-name, I still haven't checked what his name is. I probably should do that. She's going to tell teleport Daisy right to her. Potentially putting her in harm's way. A reverse space keeping Princess Daisy from getting to her home base and getting another partner. The reverse spaces, dang! And it's minigame time! 30 coins on the line once more. Let's see what we get. Popcorn pickoff! A pretty fun opportunity for uh, the princesses to shoot Bowser in the face. Someone immediately shot Toad. <laughs> Not sure who it was, that went by pretty quick. The AI is pretty hard to keep track of in this minigame. They go all over the place. A lot of toads showing up. Oh, and there goes another toad. Uh, we're pretty even so far here, but another shot against a toad puts Daisy into the winning position and gives her 30 coins. There we go. Daisy, lots of money, but not much going on partner-wise. And even so, Princess Peach still has more uh, cash on her. Choosing not to hop in the pipe, going back to start. Which partner is she gonna replace? Getting rid of Koopa. And it's the lucky roulette. Will she go for double baby Bowser? Seems like it. The double baby Bowser here is uh, quite the combination because it does increase their attack power by one, which means in the event that their attack succeeds, they do six damage. Which, against a defenseless Princess Daisy right now, would be utterly destructive and take her out in one shot. 
And she is right in front of a pipe, too. Should go things go in Peach's way, it might not end up well for Princess Daisy. Alright, paying that six coin salary, rolling a three. This could be the end, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, if this attack goes through. Oh no. Double attack strength, tripled. Oh, and that is game six damage, a one hit KO. Game over, Princess Peach. Dealing so much damage, ending with 80 coins. She absolutely dominated that round. Like I said, the girls are showing the boys how to duel. Princess Daisy just couldn't catch a break that entire time. A practically perfect game and double victories for Princess Peach. She will be going on to the winner's round to face off against Wario and Waluigi, while Daisy will be up against Mario and Luigi. The winner is Peach, quite clearly. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching the 64 Showcase featuring the Mario Party 3 CPU Tournament Preliminary Rounds. This is Sparky, signing off for now. I'll catch you next time.